outside today because during the day because I have an order to finish and to do and I'm not gonna I don't think I'm gonna be able to go live tonight and today so you got me today how is everyone oh my gosh it can't get any hotter it just can't get any hotter here it's like so hot outside I mean you can hardly breathe come on Facebook there we are how is you how are you so I have an order for a peacock wreath so I have to make one and I thought why not keep me company So I'm going to put the camera down and get started because this takes a long time and I didn't hardly do any prepping. Um, hi, Julie. So you're going to see a lot. I did cut the mesh. That's about all I did. Hey, Charlene. Hi, Debbie. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the decal on the... Thank you, Jane, on the board. And I'm going to wet it just a little bit. This has been a really popular wreath for me, gratefully. I've sold quite a few of them, and I'm grateful for sure. This is going to be probably my last one. I do have supplies, but the glitter balls would have to be a different color. So I have enough for two more wreaths like this. Hey, Brooklyn! How are you, girl? Hi Jane, hi Debbie, hi Charlene. Did I say hi to all you guys? Hi Joy. So, oh, that went on nice and easy. So whenever you do these uh, decals, I gotta get my, make sure I made a mistake. I think I did. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. I scratched it up, but I don't know. Hi, Tony. Hi, Dawn. This is my favorite vinyl. This is so pretty. So I need to get some paper towels. So make sure when you put the vinyls on the board, make sure, I'm going to make sure this is, yeah, I guess it's good. Yes, lunchtime. Hi, Sandra. You wrap whatever you're smoothing it out with, wrap it with a paper towel because you don't want to scratch up your vinyl. I made the mistake and I did not do that and my vinyl was all scratched up hi Sandra so make sure you wrap it with a paper towel now guys I will not be live tonight um, I know I won't be able to get everything done and then go live again tonight so this is it for today. And besides, I need to see my daytime peeps once in a while. So if you will bless the page, I appreciate it. And if you're not already doing this, please do so. I'm trying desperately to get to 9,000 and it is so slow. I can't get over how slow it is getting there this time. 
And at the end of the live, I am going to do a giveaway of free 30 days in my private group. I think I did it for the whole month of June because that's my birthday month. And I think, I don't even know what day today, but I think we're coming to an end for that. I think today's the 27th, right? Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is put in my Chanel stems on the inside row. Today's the 28th, right? Okay, so today and tomorrow is it to try to win free 30 days in my private group. But you must have blessed the page and you must be present to win. I know the girl, the guys and girls that are in there are enjoying it. Oh darn. I forgot to do something. I didn't realize this was an older board. So you're going to watch what I do with the older board. I'm going to plug in my plug in my soldering iron. And that should be ready by the time I get all these in. What you guys up to today? Anyone have any plans for 4th of July? I miss my old camping club because that's one thing we used to do is for all the three day weekends we used to be camping but I'll tell you what it's really so hot it's so hot to camp I wouldn't want to be camping. Right, the boards that Unique in the Creek have now, they added holes. So you have three holes in every row now, except this hole. This, uh, where the hanging hole is. <laughs> Damon. I'll tell you what, it's too freaking hot to camp. It's so hot out. You're right though. At least I can make a wreath in air conditioning. You're just being lazy. Girl, I hear ya. So this has been a really popular wreath for me. Like I said, it's I love it because it's all occasion. And you don't have to ever take it off your wall or your door or wherever you put it. And I have enough to make two more like this. However, the other two, the Chanel balls, camping involves room service. <laughs> I know. I know what you mean. Room service is pretty good. So the balls would be gold instead of the blue like this one will have. Glamping is right. Hi, Sandra. <laughs> you too. I'll tell you what. I'm not a fan of hotels. Because you don't know what slept in that bed before you. Hey, Katie girl. So... When we went to Crafters Convention last year, <laughs> I about killed, I about suffocated everyone <laughs> in the room because I sprayed so much Lysol. <laughs> the bed, luckily we weren't going into bed right away because it was wet with Lysol. <laughs> oh my gosh. I sprayed everything. Well, you know, last year we just got in Crafters Convention because I remember specifically there was one 
case in Chicago. One COVID case in Chicago. You've taken your own sheets. <laughs> You're so crazy, Damon. <laughs> That's not true, so you know. Listen, you know what you know what they've been doing in that bed before you laid in it, just so you know. <laughs> I drenched the bed, I drenched the floors. The bathroom, you couldn't touch anything. It was soaking wet with Lysol. <laughs> oh my gosh. We had to leave the room because we were gagging. <laughs> and I'll do the same thing this year. Oh gosh. All right. So we're, I'm going to add the extra holes to the board because this one don't have them. So I'm just getting my soldering iron and adding that third hole makes it easier. Now, I could have gone around the outside, but I don't want to do that with this. Why do that? When you Look how easy you can add holes to these boards. You can add them. I've added so many holes to these boards. It's not even funny. So I just go around and add that third hole. Now the new boards will already have this hole in it. I just have these old boards left over. That has absolutely nothing wrong with them. And that's it. So hopefully they cleaned their sheets. <laughs> Girl, listen. I know they clean their sheets, but still, what what is, you know what people do on them beds? Come on now. <laughs> and then I always try to get a wipe and wipe my tip off. You don't want that plastic to stay on your tip of your cutter. But always make sure you unplug it before you do this step. Always unplug it. too, Dawn, but that is a soldering iron. I use the soldering iron to burn the holes because my wood burner gets a workout, but when I forget to plug in the soldering iron, I have used the wood burner to add holes. So for the outside row, we're going to share a hole with the middle and go to the outside. <gasps> Crap. I have to add more holes. I forgot. I have to add more holes to this. It's been a while since I've done this wreath, so I have to add more holes. So hang on with me. Hold on with me, guys. Alright, so while I'm waiting for that to dry, we're going to glue on some of the Chanel balls that everyone always asks me where I got the pipe cleaners with the balls on them. So this is what I do. I just poke a little hole, add some glue, and stick them on the, ball, the Chanel stem. So if anyone would like a wreath like this, I do not have any more of this color, so my balls will be gold on the next ones. So I just poke a little hole, put the glue in, and add them. If you are not, for, if you don't know that Katie from Crazy Maisy Creations lost her page of 40,000 subscribers, 
So if you're not following her page, please go over and do so. Let's help her get her followers back up. 40,000 followers. I have all I could do to get a thousand right now. Your wood burner on that bag. What wood burner? Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Janet. Yes, I hear you. I got it. I got it. Hey, Liz. All right, so it's hot enough. I'm going to go. Now, for this wreath, I want my holes to go sideways. Because I want to put zip ties in this outside row. So I just go around and add a hole next to the outside row. So I'm just adding a hole. next to the original hole and the one that I added that the, it didn't have but when you get these boards it'll have that third hole sometimes I just want the zip ties to be going sideways not back and forth this is a soldering iron. Yes, it has a it has a pointed tip. All right, unplug it and then clean your tip off. You don't want that plastic to stay and get hard on there. finish with these and then cool well I've been using the wrong tip <laughs> girl you can use any tip that'll put a hole in the board it's easier to use a pointed one but and it's easier to use a pointed tip that to cut your mesh because you're trying to get in between the two squares I've had so many people ask me where I get my Chanel stems with the balls on them so here you go this is where I get them but I've made so many of these peacock wreaths I don't have any more of these blue ones so I'm going to add if I get another order it'll be gold balls which would be just as pretty oh I gotcha that's alright if your holes are big you've never seen Chanel balls these are actually no these are actually called vase fillers I did not glitter my own balls no they come like this they're called vase fillers or they call them all different ones yeah girl it don't matter if your holes are big you're not going to see them under the mesh anyways they come in a bag I'm just I've just had a hard time finding this color so This is how it's done. Might be that song. I'm not going to sing it though. So I always have to put these in a pail or something because I have the fan on right next to me. Because I'm always wood burning or something. And they like to blow all over. You look, uh, 
I got them on Hobby Lobby, and they're called Vase Filler Balls. Vase Filler Balls. Pretty sure that's what they're called. I'll, ha I'll be honest with you, they have changed the name of these things so many times. They're called Vase Filler Balls, last I saw. Hi, Terry. And I'm only putting it on the inside row because that's the only row you see. No, I'm poking a little hole in them. They're styrofoam. I'm poking a little hole in them with my glue gun. And then filling that little hole with glue. So if anyone would like one of these, it's 65 plus shipping. I have enough material to make two more. But the balls are going to be gold. Not blue. Hi, Tracy. So, yeah, if you will bless the page, I'd appreciate it. Did I tell you Katie's page name? Katie's new page name is Crazy Mazy Creations, comma, LLC. If you're not following her, please do so. She lost 40,000 followers. 40,000. Can you imagine? I'm doing all I can to get to nine. No, I'm not coming on tonight, Terry. Because I have a feeling this is going to take me a while to do. And I won't be able to prep for tonight, too. So, this is my live for today. <clears throat> had to get this order out. This order is going to Canada. Canada. I have no idea. Hopefully Etsy filled out or figured out the shipping correctly, but I have no idea how to figure it out. because they freak out over the 4th of July shenanigans that go on. Especially our little Maltese Miss mix. My little poodle, he doesn't hear very well anymore. So hopefully they won't bother him too much. But the little Maltese mix, he freaks out over any little noises. You're just being lazy. I don't blame you, girl. I'm doing nothing for the 4th of July. Us either. We 
having a birthday party. Aw, oh, that's neat. Uh, it's always fun to have birthday parties. September Fair. Awesome. Hi, Donna. Yours is the fifth. His birthday's really today. Oh, how old is he, Terry? I'm almost done with these junky zip ties. Almost done with them. So yes, if you can bless the page, I appreciate it. And at the end of the live, I'm giving away a free 30 days in my private group. By the time I cool off this shed, I'll be done. So hot. I forgot how hot it gets here in the summer. <laughs> hey, Maria! Thank you for sprinkling, Dawn. Playground. I saw that. That's so awesome, Tracy. That is so awesome. He'll be nine. Oh, my granddaughter, she's almost the same age as my granddaughter. She's ten. But she'll be eleven in December. Wait. No, she'll be twelve. Oh, gosh. <laughs> You're staying in your camper to stay cool. I don't blame you, Donna. I don't blame you one bit. That's why I was saying we we used to go camping for all these three day weekends. Thank you for floating my boat. But it's so hot you can't enjoy anything outside. Alright, so no wait. I did that wrong. We don't need this one. This one's the hanging hole, and I'm not using these junky zip ties for the hanging hole, that's for sure. Hey, Jeanette! It's 110 in Oregon, and going, to, oh gosh, I know, I saw that out there, Janet. You guys are really hot out there, too. You know, it wouldn't be so bad, but the humidity is so bad. Hey, it's okay, Donna. Are you by yourself? My sister-in-law said, so that means your daughter will be a grandmother. I said, yes, that's how it works. <laughs> oh, God. That's true. That's how it works. All right. So now... I already cut the mesh because I wanted to get that part done. Because you know me, I hate cutting mesh. So, hey, Bonnie. He might be nine, but he acts like he's 21, especially when you have a conversation. Oh, girl, I hear you. I know, my granddaughter's the same way. All right, so we're going to do my favorite fold. Pull the ends, the two corners. Turn it upside down and stick them in the zip ties. Same thing. Pull. I crawl over to the middle, scrunch it, fold it. Make sure you put the fold side down. That's the look I like the best.
done so many of these I could probably do it with my eyes closed. <laughs> private group. Aren't they cute? I thought these were so cute when I saw them being done. For the most part, I'm on my property. My son and two other guys live in the trailer because I can't afford to pay the payments. Two guys are out on the road. Father's Day. Well, well, I'm glad at least someone's there once in a while for you, girl. Yes, thank you, Tracy. That's the kind of stuff we do in my private group. I'm going to put this water up because I don't want it to get in the way. And this, this really takes a lot of room on my desk, on my table. But, you know, I need a bigger table. I need a bigger shed. We all know that. <laughs> someday, maybe. Someday. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Yes, girl. I have to make this read for an order. And I thought, oh, I want company. I don't want to just do it myself. I have somebody to talk to. Excited? Do you guys know that um, Wreath Makers Live has a virtual ticket? I think this is the first year they've done that, and I am really excited that I could at least be there for the virtual and get to see what goes on. I have never been able to go to Wreath Makers Live. That's my that's my dream someday because it's further away than crafters convention I hear you Nancy it's hot here too girl I wouldn't doubt if the index was a hundred here too so yeah that's coming up the end of July The mesh is cut nine inches. Hot and humid here in Connecticut. I hear ya. This mesh is called peacock blue. Peacock blue. Yeah, it is hard to breathe. It's so hot out. Just have to stay in the air conditioning. Hi, Linda. Oh, this dumb thing. Get out of the way. If they would just stay where they're put, it wouldn't be a problem. daytime peeps once in a while it's hot in Canada too yeah I think we're all getting it summer's definitely here just a few more of these
two more. Hi, Diana. The weather plays havoc with your sugars. Girl, you're not kidding. My sugar was like 130 this morning, but yesterday was my cheat day and I had McDonald's, so I'm assuming that's why. so mad. I need to stop checking it so often. Because <laughs> I freak out. Alright, so now let's tighten these and cut these. And I'm going to glue every one of these because I do not trust these cruddy zip ties. still call them confetti balls. They used to be called confetti balls. Now they call them vase filler balls. Hi Sandy! I need to empty my garbage. Okay, let's put the glue on. Hi, Shaw. So we're just going to put a bead of glue over every one of these petals. Hi, Nellie. Hi, Carol. You call them glitter balls? Yep. They've been called many things. Size five, six, and seven, and 
I have an affiliate link for Burlap Boutique, so if you will go over and click on it, it'll bring you right to her site. It's under my affiliate post. Because when you make these character boards with the sign in the middle, you don't want to crowd the sign. So if you make poofs too much bigger than six inch, it crowds the sign. So that's why I asked Melissa to make these size for me and I use them all the time. Alright, when I first start and when I end poofs, I always add glue to the first starting little piece of mesh here. And here we go, six inch poofs all the way around. This is Peacock Metallic Mesh, one of my all-time favorites.
can see even six inch poofs want to get in that sign. Sometimes I've even used five inch. Thanks, Carol. I agree. I love this high foil peacock mesh. I can't find my bed, but I'm in my room and it's probably... <laughs> I hear ya. I've been there, girl. I've been there. I've been putting doilies on all my furniture because I hate to... I hate to uh, dust... Does anybody else do that? You put doilies? You put five inch poofs? Yeah, I've done five inch too. But because there's no writing on this one, I like to do the six inch. I hate to dust. So I put doilies on my furniture. <laughs> oh gosh, my grandmother taught me that taught me that little hint because I think she hated the dust too I'm just coming around and hoping I don't miss any like I'm good at doing I'm good at missing
this. And glue it underneath the last poof. Like I said, I always glue the beginning and the end. Cut to is it too long? I need a little shorter. Facebook. I see Marianne coming on about a hundred times. Uh, Facebook has a glitch they need to work on, I think. They have this glitch. Okay, let's measure this pretty ribbon. Thanks, Charlotte. to look at 
get something for a minute, guys. Be right back. You aren't going anywhere, but I have to look at something. Because I forgot. I forgot how I cut these. <laughs> One thing I did forget. How did I cut these ribbons? Thankfully, I take a picture of all my ribbon, of all my wreaths. So hold on. Jeez, I didn't think it was back that far. Here it is. Okay, I did. I thought that's how I did it. I just wanted to make sure. You didn't even try to figure it out. No worries, girl. I didn't either. That's why I had you guys do it. It doesn't have the hole for it. It's short board. Really, Carol? And it's an easy bow maker? Wow. I wonder if it's a knockoff brand. smaller ones for children. Yes. It says patent pending on it. Huh. I'll be darned. What color is it? Is it wood like the rest of them? Well see that's how they get away with they make them a little bit different. <clears throat> and it's called Easy Bow Maker. Because they can't call it the same. I'll be darned. Huh. You saw it on Damon's? Oh, you saw the kids' bow maker on Damon's, yeah. But I've never seen one without that little peg, unless Leah's coming out with a new one. Oh, okay. Offray. Yeah, that's a different one. But see, they don't have, they can do that because they didn't put that little peg on there. fight these ribbon tails and they get they're wonky until you get them on the on the wall or the door wherever you're gonna put them 
and just leave them alone. But until that happens, I'm fluffing them every minute. Huh, Lion Ribbon Company. I'll be darned. Send me a picture of it, Carol. I want to see it. Message me a picture. The ribbon tails are 13 inches. Thanks, Carol. Hey, Darlene. No problem, girl. No problem. It was 99 cents. Well, the price is certainly right. Welcome, Carol. Everyone, please welcome Carol. This is her first time with us. So happy to have you. Thank you, Char. If you like what you see, please do this. I appreciate it. have it. 
So lately I've been ordering a lot of my stuff from Hobby Lobby online and lately they've had free shipping for $50 and over. Thank you for that, Michelle. Yes, we made those in my private group. Aren't they cute? That's the kind of stuff we do in my private group. Two little ones. A little one and a big one. Oh, or do you like my doggy over there? <laughs> no, I don't think you can see my doggy on the floor. Yeah, Sam's did have peacock ribbon. They did. Yeah, Lori's stuff does go fast. I know, because I hardly can't ever order either. Thanks, Linda. So if you are not familiar with my private group, it is $9.99 a month. You can join with your PayPal subscription under my affiliate post. And then go over and ask to join Connie's Peeps VIP after you set up your PayPal subscription. Answer the three questions and ask to join. Right, Sandra? So if you are interested in the Unique in the Creek boards, I also have an affiliate link for them under my affiliate post. You will save an extra 5% if you click on that link. That's all you have to do is click on the link for Unique in the Creek and you'll save 5% on the boards. The boards are already an awesome, nice, low price. So it's nice to save that extra 5%. If you purchase $120, you get free shipping. So, it's quite a savings. Almost done, guys. Almost done with this ribbon. I wish I would have cut that off, but... Oh, well. I can't. So if you see the red live button at the top left of the screen, it means I am live. If you do not see it, that means you're watching the replay. If you're watching on YouTube, you are definitely watching the replay. So I cannot answer your questions, but still ask, and I will try to find them and ask them. When you have Unique in the Creek affiliate link, can you use it for yourself? Yes, Linda. You, you, you get... I forget if it's 10% or 5% for the affiliates. I can't remember. The decal came from Unique in the Creek. This is a character board. And they're made they're made specifically for the character board. Yes, unique in the creek.com. But if you go to my affiliate link, my affiliate post is the first pinned post on my page. Just click on the blue link for UITC. You'll have to click see more because my logo is there and it takes up a lot of the posts. So you have to click see more and right under there you'll see UITC. All you have to do is click on the link and it'll bring you right to their page. I have several other affiliate links that brings you right to their page. 1993, wow. That's interesting. Okay, we're almost done. Hey, Shauna. Thank you, girl. Oh, 
almost done. This wreath is actually going to someone in Canada. shipping. They have been a hot seller for me and I have enough supplies to make two more. So I need to put the hanging hole, hanging zip tie in. Thanks Sandra. Thanks, Terry. This has been my design. Somebody actually copied it and said that they didn't, but they did, and it's okay. I mean, but I don't mind that people copy my stuff, but when you're asked, just say where you learned it. That's all you have to do. And this person did not say that. So I got a little upset, but she and I worked it out, and, you know, you know. <laughs> All right, that's it for this. Let's do our giveaway. And you can message me if you would like one of these. You actually save a little money if you order it straight from me rather than go off of Etsy, but whatever you prefer is fine. Now, what's today's date? Today is what? June? Somebody told me the date. I forget. Today's the 28th, right? Isn't that what someone said? June 28th. 28. Ow. I just banged my hand on there. Get my pencil ready.
before I start and I always forget
least double. Well, Damon says triple. Damon says triple. Are you still here, Pamela? I know you were here earlier. That's the way everyone is, Faye. That's where it is everywhere. That's why I stopped doing um, craft shows for that reason. She left too, it looks like, right? Pamela's no longer here. Alright. If you sh Me either, Marla. I'm the same way. Alright, we're going to take another one. <laughs> Tracy, I just can't get over how often your name comes up, girl. Do you want yours this time? Tracy Watson, do you want yours? Tracy gave it away last time. I don't know if she wants it or not. If she don't want it, we'll pick another winner. Keep picking. I don't know if Tracy's still here. Hi, Laura. Oh, it's raining out. Give it to Terry Ish. All right, Terry. Tracy's giving it to you. Are you still here, girl? Terry's about to give me, I mean, Tracy's about to give me a complex. <laughs> she keeps giving away her freebie. Is Terry still here? Terry, I S C H. I know I can't. I'm not spell. I'm not saying it right. There you go, girl. It's yours. All right, guys. Terry, go over and ask to join Connie's Peeps VIP, and I'll approve your membership. All right. And I'm really bad about ending the memberships after 30 days. I really have to get better at that. <laughs> but, you know, what the heck. So, at the end of your 30 days, you're certainly welcome to stay. It's $9.99 a month. You just go over to um, ask to join, I mean, set up your PayPal subscription under my affiliate post. It's the first pinned post on my page. It has all my affiliate links there. You just pay, uh, set up your PayPal subscription and um, answer the three questions and ask to join. Connie's Peeps VIP. Not the, just the Connie's Peeps. That's a free group for anyone to join. It's Connie's Peeps VIP. All right, guys, thank you for spending your afternoon with me. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Love you all. God bless you all. See you tomorrow.